Ugh. Hey y'all. Mm. Y'all done all right. Y'all say hey to Shaquan. Her little baby somewhere, neat neat. I don't know where he is. Ugh. Well, I don't know what time it is. Okay. So the episode began with Shawnee and Evelyn. Um right? Yeah. So you know they're they're shopping for uh baby clothes and stuff. Um It was kind of a pointless scene. I, I don't really understand why they were shopping for baby clothes. Neither one of them have a baby. In their life, really. Um, Evelyn's son is three years old, he can't fit anything in that shop, so I was just like, What was the point of that scene? But anyway, um, Shawnee held up some pants that looked like, um, you know, they had the patterns of, of, of Gucci clothes, and um, Evelyn was like, No, that's not uh, Gucci, that's 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 Hoochie, that's something that Tammy would wear. Yeah, I said it. Um, what else they talking about? They talked about Evelyn. No. They talked about um, Shawnee's son, uh, Sharif, I believe, which is the second oldest. Um, and I believe he's the tallest one. He uh, is, is moving into, he's going off to college, but he's also moving into a place with his brother, his older brother. Um, and, you know, Shawnee's a little leery about that. Evelyn was just like, well, how do you feel about women? And stuff, because you know they're young men in their twenties, um, and you know, and you know, being them being celebrities' kids, you know, them being you know good-looking guys, them being you know quote unquote having money and all that, it's just gonna be women all around. And then you know he's entering college and gonna be on his own with his brother. You know, you can get away with things with your brother quicker than you can get away with things with your mother. So. You know, uh, Shawnee's just worried about that. And she's just like, Lord, you know, I hope they don't bring no babies home and whoop to whoop. She says she just, you know, hope that she instill good values in, you know, her kids. And hope that they don't go out there and do nothing stupid. And Evelyn was just like, child, you know, I got private investigators. I got everybody on the scene. Um, you know, just let me know if you really need the tea on some heifers and I got you. Um, they did not talk about Jennifer in that scene at all. Um, moving on from that scene, Shawnee had a scene with her sons, um, and, you know, they were going, um, for bed shopping, you know, to get beds and stuff, and they don't even, you know, have a place yet, but of course, you know, Shawnee would be the one to pay for it and stuff, and, you know, they could pretty much get everything they want, to be honest with you. Um, so, you know, it looks like Shawnee's two oldest kids are going to get a place together, you know, they're going to be fine, though. They're good boys. Okay, um, what else happened? The second scene was Cece. We haven't seen her. Cece, um, Malaysia, Jackie, and Christian. They went out. Um, it was drinking, you know, Jackie, you know, drinking. Um, it was some kind of little drinking function. Those drinks look real good, though. I wish I would have went, y'all. Ooh, yes. So, um, uh, Jackie asked, um, uh, Cece wherever she was at her, um, event because all the other ladies was able to make it. And um, she was just like, oh, well, child, that was the day that I had my birthday dinner. And Christian was just like, well, what was my invite? I wasn't invited. So I was just like, um, Christian, what show are you watching? You and CC, you know, ain't, ain't been feeling each other for the longest, sis. Like, uh, what are you talking about? Why you didn't have your invite? You know, you was the one that had your biggest issues with uh, CC, and it was no issue at all. Um, except for, you know, you just trying to fit in with Jen them and all that. And she was just like, child, um, 
I mean, you know, there was kind of issues with that. You know, she was just kind of talking around it. Then Malaysia jumped in. Malaysia jumped in and defended Christian. And I'm just like, Malaysia, what the hell you got to do with it? Yeah, I, I don't understand how Malaysia, how how they're like, they just like to, to bring up crazy stuff and flip on people and take sides and don't even know all the tea. And I'm just like, no. I wouldn't invite her ass to my birthday. This is my birthday. I want to be around people who genuinely love me. Why in the hell would I invite somebody who sometimes like me and sometimes don't? You can all the time stay at home. What about that? Child, please. Tired and through. Um, Christian also brought up Jennifer. She was just like, yeah. Um, I'm not really sure how I feel about Jen in this moment. Um, but for the most part, I'm cool with Jen. And, you know, I'm, it's, it's like I'm on an island by myself with just Jen. Like, ain't nobody feeling Jen. Ain't nobody trying to rock with Jen. Like, it's just me and Jen. You know, and Malaysia, she had nothing to say. And, you know, Jackie's kind of neutral. And, of course, CC and Jen don't sit houses. So, you know, Christian, you are on, on the banks with Jen by yourself. A little later on, Christian and Jennifer, um, they actually had a scene where they were sitting down eating. And um, they were just talking about, um, you know, the whole thing of... of Jennifer kind of being on the outs and you know everything that that happened and Jennifer was just like look if these girls want to be my friend then fine if not whatever um you know I definitely have some receipts as well Christian was just like oh sis you got some receipts she was like yes sis I got some receipts she was just like because I'm not the only one and all this other kind of stuff we'll get to uh, Jen's receipts later child (laughs) I don't have my phone right now with me I'm just going to reenact some things. But anyway. Um, what else happened? Hmm. So. Uh, Shawnee. Had a scene with Tammy. And they basically talked about. Um, Reggie. And you know Tammy having two cold feet. Side note. Um, apparently Tammy. You know she finally addressed. Why does she look so. You know sickly um and she says that she has diabetes so that's why and, and she honestly just took a um a, a, a conscious she finally took responsibility for her own self and her own life and she wants to live for her daughters and so that's why she started to eat healthier weight her healthier um choices and and you know that's why she was able to lose a lot of weight so she says that's why she you know looks the way that she looks and stuff so We'll go with that. Moving on. Um, so, yeah, Shawnee and Tammy was talking. And Shawnee basically told Tammy everything that we've been trying to tell Tammy. That, Tammy, if you don't act right, that man going to leave your ass. Or he going to stay with you for financial, financially. He going to stay with you for the money. But, he, you know, he going to have some other girl his age, you know, that he knock up and get pregnant. You're going to be the stepmom. Like, you know, hell, this man will rock with you for this long. He know your ass old and rotten and stuff like child. He knew what he was getting with when he got with you. Knowing that you had two grown daughters. Most people wouldn't want to just start all the way back over, you know. Some people do. I got cousins who did. They have a kid. They have another child to them near 20 years or so after they had their first child. I'm just like, child. I guess. But we helped them. They raised them. You know, the kids like 12 and 13 now. Bad as hell. I want to take them back and put them in the uterus. Anyway. So. Um. Yeah. So Tammy was just like, you know what? You're right. You're right. So, you know, Tammy's just having cold feet. She, You know, but it's it's understandable in a way. Um, Seem in the situation. Because eventually Reggie going to want kids. But she's unable to have kids by him, unfortunately. Um, or to give him kids or anybody kids for that matter so you know we're praying for Tammy and Reggie I really like Reggie um let's see what else happened they also talked about Jennifer Shawnee said that she did not she just don't want to be around Jennifer like straight up and down Bruno Mars she just don't want to be around Jennifer at all Jennifer does nothing for her she was just like maybe in a year or so 
I'll be able to talk to her. But for right now, uh, I'm just done with Jennifer. Uh, Jennifer, uh, Tammy was just like, well, I'm done with that bitch for life. And whoop to whoop. And, you know. Tammy also left something, I believe, on Twitter or Instagram. Well, she made a comment saying that you can be there for somebody, but you find out they're fake and they don't really rock with you. A lot of people speculating and felt like she was talking about Tam, uh, Shawnee. In which I don't understand how she did not know Shawnee was fake. Uh, because the world knew that Ta- Shawnee was fake. Um, but like I said, the whole acceptance thing. And that was one thing that Tammy got into it with Jennifer about. Talking about, oh bitch, you just want to be accepted. So do you, Tammy. So do you. In terms of being with these ladies, you do want to be accepted. You do. You don't belong in the circle. We is the circle. and You don't, you don't remember all that? Okay. That was season three of Basketball Wives, I believe, uh, with Mika Claxton on there, darling. Um, so yeah. Um, so they talked about that and um oh Jackie, she had a PSA. Um, it was really nice. Um, she brought her son there, uh, little Dougie, um her daughter there, um, Chantel. Christian brought her little cute little girl there, just as cute as a button. OG was there, you know, they was basically talking about, you know, gun violence, you know, um, and, and, you know, black boys and black women and, you know, us being targeted, whatever, by the police officer. It was good. Um, behind the stage, uh, Jackie, OG, and Christian, they were sitting around and talking, and Jackie didn't even realize that OG and Christian had made up at her event. So he talked about it. You know, Christian went to go talk to OG um, once she found out her brother died. Christian, her cute little girl, Christian little girl was just sitting there eating and eating and eating. I was just like, we got to go to the buffet together, sis. That little girl was eating. She was chopping on them carrots and stuff. And I was like, I live. That's good, though, because most babies, um, they're very picky about their food. They don't really like vegetables and stuff. So she, that little girl eats everything. So that's good, Christian. You got to worry about that. Whatever you cook, child, whether it's chitlins. Or tilapia, child. She gonna eat it. Um, so... Yeah, so that was cute. What else happened? Um... That was something else that just slipped my mind. Malaysia. You know, the whole, um... Thing as to why Malaysia don't really, uh, fool with the police. Um... With, you know, what happened to her brother. And, you know, she explained the story a little bit more in detail. And, um... Basically, they had the police officers had no right to kill her brother, but you know we we see this every single day, unfortunately. And um, she actually, um, excuse me, she actually got an officer who's like really in depth in depth in his community and in his neighborhood, and you know he loves kids and all that kind of stuff. She actually t- um, got an officer to come out and you know talk to her about it. Um, and Jackie went with her. The guy walked up and she started crying. And, you know, it was just really sad to see somebody um, that affected by it. He wasn't even in, in uniform. He just had on regular clothes. But the fact that he's a police officer, this is what happened to her brother. And, you know, she's still dealing with it. So it's just a, it was a lot for her to handle. It, it, it was terrible. And I believe she said that she shot, they were twins or something, and, and shot both of the brothers. And I was just like, oh my gosh. I can only imagine. God bless uh, Malaysia. Um, but she was able to talk to the guy and, you know, he seemed like a really nice man. And so, you know, I don't think that we should be afraid of police officers, um, as black people or afraid just in general, because it's, it's hard to walk around every single day being afraid, but we just need to be leery. I'll say that and we just need to know the, uh, precautions and the proper protocol to make these people feel uncomfortable obviously because they're scared and nervous some of them there are some good police officers out there i haven't really ran across any but there are some good police officers out there i'm sure and they do get a bad rap because of a few assholes but what would make us feel better in that moment is if those police officers that killing these black people beating the hell out of these black people and doing whatever to these black people If they got proper punishment, meaning jail time themselves, their job taken away, not on suspension, you know, not put in detention, not ISP, ISS, but to actually have their job taken away, you know, uh, fuck with their money a little bit and and put them in jail a while or forever if they killed them. Ain't that murder? You know, just, just 
these people should be prosecuted, prosecuted and punished the same way we would be if the if the uh, roles were reversed. How many black officers do you see killing white men and women? Don't worry, I will. Okay, they will hang his ass out to dry, legit. Oh, well, I have a family. Nobody cares, sir. You killed a white man, or you killed a white woman, or you killed a white boy, or you killed a white girl, and you're down. I finally did all this cooling and all this stuff. You're out. Hand me your badge. It's a mess. It was a very touching scene. It was good. Malaysia could get some kind of, you know, she she feels a little a little, a little bit of relief, you know, like a Tylenol. Okay, so um, what else? So the final scene was Jackie invited all the ladies to this whole um PSA thing, uh PSA event. She she had everybody wear black. Um, it was a very nice event. Um, uh, all the ladies arrived. Um, Christian had a conversation with Malaysia and Christian was just like you know Jen got some receipts child. then Shawnee came over in the tightest dress I've seen Shawnee in particular she really really tries to live out her days when she in 1998 she really Shawnee thinks she's 21 and I want her to su- stop stuffing herself in them dresses and ensemble child Shawnee looks really good um, she's not old at all, but she's too old to wear some of the things that she wear, uh, and and I guess it's just like a body kind of thing, you know. She she you know, throughout the years we all get that you know grown people weight, you know, that come on in. So you know, there's no need to continue to dress like you dressed before any of, before you had kids before any of this, you know. Like you're not you're not sixteen, you no more, sis. Like she's just squeezing them outfits and she popping out of them on every size and the handles and everything. And I got them too, child. I got them too. I got every damn thing. So I can talk about her. Just, just get it together, Shawnee. This is not 1998 anymore. This is not your heyday. Okay. So anyway, so uh, they're talking and you know doing that whole thing and you know Shawnee came up and. And Christian spilled to her, of course, as everybody's scared of Shawnee. Then Jennifer ended up coming in. Jennifer came by herself. Shawnee, uh, Evelyn was nowhere to be found. Nobody found out where Evelyn was. And basically, it was just attack Jen mode. Everybody came at Jen and Tammy. Bitch, you know what you did, bitch. And you know, at the boom. Jennifer's just like, child, I got some receipts on y'all. Y'all not often to come for me. I got some receipts. Hold on. Hold on. No, because I had to turn my phone back on. I got some receipts for y'all. Y'all not going to keep coming for the queen. Uh, Tammy, what day was it? The 27th. Oh. Well, hold on. I got to put my password in. Well, mine says it stopped at the 26th, so. Well, hold on. But I know it was something in there that, that y'all said. The whole time, the screen was black. Jennifer, is you who get your dry lip ass out of here, hoe? <laughs> I was like, Jennifer, you're supposed to have your shit together. When you know that you're coming into a meeting where everybody's going to be there and the majority of everybody hates you, you need to you need to you know pass out refreshments. You need to pass out you know documentations, you know hard copies, paper guys. You need text messages on deck. You need everything printed out. Everything signed, sealed, and delivered. If you know these people going to be coming for you. You know, Jennifer. Oh, Tammy was the one. You know, she. if it wasn't for Tammy, wouldn't nobody even know about this. And Shawnee checked her. And Shawnee was right. She said, well, if you wouldn't have sent this whole thing out, wouldn't nobody would have known about this. Jennifer was in a bad place. She was angry. She was mad to tell her Evelyn, understandably, because Evelyn's mean person sometimes. Um, and she knew that Tammy never liked Evelyn and they never got along so you know it was just a combined mess of foolishness they both was in the wrong in my opinion um, but Jennifer was a little bit more wrong than all of them because she was the one that brought the whole thing up and, and created the whole rumor so to speak um, 
I don't I don't think the Evelyn would do anything like that. I really don't. Um, but then again, I, I don't I don't know that lady like that. So who knows, child? You can't never you can't never really say what nobody might do. Um, but I think she wouldn't mind doing that to other women, but probably not Shawnee. You know, because she's her boss. She writes her checks. Um, that was pretty much it. Um, they holding them away, and Jennifer saying she got pepper spray and she'll kill and stab and all sorts of kind of stuff. And um, I'm a little disappointed in Jackie because Jackie should have shut all that down. And told those women to chill out. I'm putting all y'all black asses out. And it's as simple as that. Like y'all showing out at this nice event. Nice professional people. White people looking at you. And you just acting a fool. This is what happens. This is how they just help us do on these shows and events. Child act a fool. But with that said. I'm Mr. Chilaki. Basketball Wives on Sunday nights now darling. I'm Mr. Chilaki. Google Plus. Follow me at this on Instagram and Twitter. And it's Kings 89 on Snapchat, Chase King on Facebook, all the good stuff. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later.